In this video guys, I'm gonna be showing you how I built this awesome nano tank death surround. What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel. So in this video, we're gonna start our nano tank desk build. It's gonna be going in the spot you can see behind me here. I'm gonna to have to move all this out though because it's in the way, but this is the best place to put it in terms of space that we've got all this width all the way across. And I wanna do something that this is really hard to do in reverse. I wanna make it go up all the way across, all the way down, and then have a desk area where that tank is. And I can just be surrounded by nano tanks. Although saying that guys, although this section is big, this section is just as big. And to be honest, if I do have the desk area in this section, I've got a huge tank to the left and a huge awesome tank to the right. This is obviously the new Angelfish Aquarium looking absolutely spot on this morning. But that would be quite cool, wouldn't it? To be able to look left and or right and be surrounded by all of the tanks as well. They won't impact on the view at all because tanks only come out to about this far. Completely fine to see the whole tank. Hmm, decisions, decisions, decisions. Right, that's it, it's decided. We're going this side, on the angelfish side, and on the Rainbow River side. First job to do though, I need to get the Exoterra Vivarium over into the Reptile Studio. Oh, it feels good calling it that. Click subscribe. Okay, here we are guys, in the old studio, which will be the Reptile Studio. Now this is the racking system I've got at the moment. I'm going to take it apart to use some of it, use the wood, probably not the rack in itself because I'm going to build that all fresh. But let's just get this area sorted in here so I can make some more space to bring in the other Exoterra, Terrarium, Vivarium, Paladarium. <laughs> reusable wood, reusable wood, wood. We've got wood everywhere that I can use. It's already black as well, which is awesome. Let's get started. So that's an awesome big space now cleared in this area. And obviously the old studio is a complete bomb site at the moment. This is the Exoterra one that I've just moved, the small paludarium. What I'm eventually gonna do is just have a whole wall here, guys, of all the Exoterra paludariums. I've got the big one under there and the big one under there. It'll be a really cool reptile room. I mean, I know not all of you might be into reptiles, but I am, and I think you will be when I get some really cool stuff going on. For me, it's more about the plant design and the enclosure design as well as the animal as well. So that kind of ties in with all the nature aquarium themes that we go for. But back to the job at hand. Now, originally when I first started setting up the studio, I was like, oh, I'm gonna keep it quite minimal with lots of space. Screw that. Like having been in here for a good couple of months now, the more stuff, the better. The more stuff to look at, the better. The better for you, the better for me. I love stuff everywhere. I like to wear a walk in here, look in all the tanks, see what's going on, see what needs doing. At the moment, there's not that much maintenance to do because like I said to you guys, I set a lot of my tanks up just to look after themselves. So I don't really have to do a lot. But the thing is, I actually like coming in here and I like doing all the maintenance on all these tanks. I mean, why wouldn't you? Like, that's the fun part as well. If you don't like doing tank maintenance, don't get fish tanks, <laughs> simple as that. It has to become part of your fun, you know, part of the process. It's really enjoyable for me. So I've now moved all of the wooden surrounds from all of these racking. We've got the surrounds here, so I've got all that wood reclaimed, which is good. You should always reuse stuff if you can, right? So now I'm gonna take all this stuff off and I can move one of these across. And what I'm thinking is, if I can just raise up the sections, if you like, so that you've got like a desk area and then raise another one so we've got a shelving area, we're sorted. Obviously I can cut these to length, I can bolster it all up on each side with more of the reclaimed wood. But, oh, ow, whoops. <laughs> but then we're good to go. So that's next job, get all this off and get it into the other studio. I won't film that because it's boring. So you can see behind me the Orantu crew. Eat, well, there's pumpkin. <laughs> so this is my goldfish aquarium. We've got an Aranda goldfish and we've got two Ranchu goldfish. Now I used to have three Ranchu goldfish, but many of you know one of them passed away for reasons I still cannot understand. Maybe an internal problem, God knows, but the rest are all good and they have been for a long time. But even though we've got several projects going on at the moment, 
the tanks still need looking after and as you can see down here look we've got some waste all in the bottom this is because I've been making down here a good handful of uh, duckweed per day and every day I've been putting it in these guys have been getting real treat with this because it's producing as fast as they can eat it now which is brilliant because they're really good they love duckweed it's all good for them I mix it up with a bit of protein pellets and that as well so it's not just one thing all the time but the thing is if you feed a fish a lot they poo a lot so let's get it sorted So you can see here that I'm using a modified filter inlet attached to a long hose. All you've got to do is suck the other end of the hose and you've got yourself a nice little siphoning wand thing. Now I'm sucking up all the poop and taking about 40% of the water out. I can then take out this hose and put in another one that's attached to my taps. I've made a little mark on the tap so I know exactly the right temperature to set it to to come into the tank. At this point you also want to add in your dechlorinator. Then it's just a case of filling it right up and cleaning all the top of the aquarium. And job done. All right, so that's the tank all filled up, boys. Yeah. Who's your favourite still? What, Ember? My favourite. Who's your favourite, Henry? Where are you going? No. <laughs> ghost. Your ghost. Ghost. Okay, guys, just so you guys don't, whoever doesn't know, we've got Pumpkin, we've got Ghost, we've got Ember. Like I said, I used to have... Alexa, stop. Oh, it's Mannequin here today. Yeah, I used to have another one called Chocolate, but he passed away, sadly, so we went and got Ember instead. Not straight away, because that'd be pretty cruel, but... Look at how awesome he looks, like bubbles galore in the water at the moment, but it is crystal clear. So yeah, that's all filled up. We can now take out the inlet water hose thing and we're all good. Okay guys, we've got the basic structure in. Look, that works well. Chair goes underneath, good. Legs go underneath. It's now a case of bolstering all up the sides. Setting the height of here, so I need to cut these sections off. I can then do a cross member all the way across on the support beams coming down and then offset one back for more coming up. More going across, you know what I'm saying, like just build around it effectively, but have this as the main shell. I can also just screw this to the back as well so we're, we're locked in if you like nothing can come forwards plus then i'll strengthen the struts at the side with some of that really good wood we've got i think it's one inch by two inch wood let's get on with it Okay, that's all four corners like sort of strengthened up. Look, that thing's solid now. But as an even more of a precaution, I'm gonna take some big long screws, go all the way through those back bits of wood into the sort of wooden structure of the whole shed, studio, studio, shed, whatever. <laughs> then after that, we can get some cross members on the top. And I think we can bring it all the way around down here as well. So we can have one this side, one there, one there, one there, one blah, 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 blah. In fact, I might bring this over a little bit and then we've got more surface area on top, but it might look a bit weird if I do that. Oh, yeah, yeah just do it. Make it look weird. Screw it. So you can see here, I'm measuring out the cross members to go, well, across the top. Cut them off as square as you can. And make sure you sand off all your edges. You don't want any rough surfaces. It just doesn't look good. Place them on top of the upgraded frame we've now created and screw them in. We then need to cut out some flat pieces to sit on top. These need to be of a decent thickness because this is what the tanks are actually going to be sat on. I didn't have a piece long enough to go all the way across the top, so I'm just going to cut two sections and screw them on instead. We can then give everything a fresh lick of black paint and then we should be ready to go. And there we have it guys. 
<laughs> it's looking good, I think. Looking really good. Obviously, it's looking like nothing. That was the point of it. Like, it blends right into the background. So, yeah, you can see we've got the overhang on this side, which was deliberate, obviously. It's black. <laughs> I mean, there's not really much more else to say, but I think what we need to do now is get our tanks back. So, Mike is going to go back to slot in underneath. And then we need to start moving the tanks from here to go up on the top and there'll be room for an extra one as well which is awesome i think i'm going to go normal tank normal tank and then bowl aquarium at the end but i'll just mess around with it and we'll see what looks best hey that looks great guys didn't it okay so that's one tank on now let's get some more at the top So there we have it guys, I'm at my desk, <laughs> I think it's looking amazing don't you? Look at this, I've got the Rainbow River right behind me this side, and then if I spin round, ow, <laughs> I've got everything else behind me this side as well, oh come on that's so good, this is, I can tell you, right, I've been, I've set this up for a while now before doing the final shots because I want to make sure it was working well on that. This is such an amazing place to work in, look. And you can see I've got my computer there. Yeah, there you go, look. Currently doing a bit of editing for this video, in fact. But I'll tell you one thing that I've done that's really good. Little tip for you guys, if you're setting up a desk area and you've got a laptop, make something like what I've got under here. So let me just take this all off. So underneath here, look, I was looking for something to make me more comfortable because I'm getting a bit of a bad back with a laptop all the time. So I just built this, look. Just a bit of wood and a bit of wood at the front just to hold the laptop on. Find an angle that suits you or your laptop best. Chuck it on there flip it up which is really hard to do one-handed but you know flip it up and it works a treat it's the best way I've found to actually work for long periods of time without having your neck bent over why am I giving you guys a lesson in ergonomics just do what you want but this is this is really nice really nice way of working highly recommend laptop tips with empty fish tanks <laughs> well yeah so that's the desk area full of complete guys but what that means is that it's actually freed up a space for us over here now so this area here is obviously where the nano tanks were sat and then also this side oh every time that looks planned then it's not <laughs> and in fact I'm actually running pretty low down there on paper towel aren't we but you know we're in a paper towel and toilet paper crisis at the moment we can't just be going out getting it willy-nilly can we but anyway yeah we've got space for a nano there we've got a space for a nano there I've actually got a 60 centimeter shallow tank that could go on there and I've also got a whole nother racking system that could slot in here. I don't know what I'll do with that then, but we'd find a space, we'd find a space, but we've got options, we've got good options for lots more tanks in this room. And why not do it? Like, I think it's brilliant having tanks in one area together.